Okay, day two, um, I want you to spend quite a bit of time today writing your essay. So that should be the bulk of your time. But just a few things to pay attention to and listen to as well before you get started. So this is an essay about literature, but you are proving a point that you um, personally hold about this book in your essay. So essays about literature are almost always arguments. So they're trying to prove something. They usually start with a question and the author of the essay is answering that question in their essay. So in their essay, to answer that question, they have to have arguments or points that back up um, their position or their thesis statement. So some of the questions that you could use as the basis for your essay would be, how does the work reflect the author's life, thought, worldview? Which character most closely values what God values or which character least values what God values. What is the most striking aspect of the work? Which character is most capable of creating an emotional response in the reader? And what response is created? Another question you might consider, what elements make this book worthy of classroom study? Is it a classic? And you can refer to the notes on what makes a work of literature a classic in lesson four. How should a Christian read this novel? So consider the suggestions that I gave um, in the last lesson, I believe it was. And is it important to understand the ideologies and worldviews of other people? How much should we protect ourselves from wrong ideas and influences? And how much should we be open to learn about other ideas? Does it depend on our age, our faith, or maturity? And another question, what aspects or ideas presented in this novel are so appealing to people? Why is a simple novel so popular throughout the world? Okay, so you're not going to address all of those questions in your essay, but you need to choose one to focus in on. Okay, so don't get mi mixed up there. So once you choose one of those questions, then write out an answer to it. It, it can be one to two sentences, and that will be your thesis statement. Your essay will then attempt to prove or support your answer with examples and reasons and quotes from the book as well. So that is what essay means. It means to attempt or try to prove. So there's some pages you want to refer to in your English language arts handbook. And if you don't have a copy, there's one available digitally online. And I want you to read the part on writing persuasive paragraphs because you're trying to persuade in your essay that you're writing today. And that is pages 107 to 114. I would also like you to study the pages on writing effective paragraphs, revising, coherence, transitional devices, editing, and proofreading. So those things will help you. There's also a section on expository writing to help you learn how to explain things. And that is about 10 pages from 125 to 135. Now, I want you to send me your thesis in an email because this can help you as I take a look at it and make sure you're headed in the right direction and can kind of help reshape it if possible there for you. Um, so after you've come up with a thesis, you can send that to me. Um, but then I want you to make um, an outline and in your outline you should have examples or reasons from the novel that support your answer or show the reader what you are talking about and why. So you should have at least three main reasons and those will become your three main body paragraphs. You'll also need to quote directly from the novel so use in-text citation and that is like what you find on page 24 of the English Language Arts Handbook. The period for the sentence goes outside the last parentheses. There is no punctuation inside the page citation. Okay, that might be wrong there. Don't look on page 24. That's just the example there, sorry. So, your essays due at the end of the week. It should be between 600 and 1,000 words long and Make sure you email me my thesis, your thesis and 
You should make an outline too. And if you want to send your outline as well, that's totally fine. But there is an example there. Um, on an essay that could be written on the book Silas Marner by George Eliot. So that's kind of what your outline should look like. So make sure you have the three points and so on and follow that, that guideline for that. So notice that the points in the body are parallel. They are written in the same structure and style. Use these points to organize your body. In this outline, the student moved from the least impressive conflict to the most. Um, in this in the body use examples and page numbers quotations and specific details to support what you say so in your outline do not type the parts that are read in this sample outline okay they are just explanations also you must type your own essay title where it says title you don't have to keep the title you put in your first outline if you think of something better as you're writing or at the end then that's totally fine as well to do that okay then, in the English 10 essay writing notes that you'll find in, the, in Moodle for this lesson, there is a check sheet or a checklist. And I would like you to use that as you go through. And um, you can use it to check over your essay. I do have a rubric in Moodle, which I didn't have at this time that this was written. But I will use a rubric in Moodle because that's what... We're kind of working towards preparing you to write a diploma exam in grade 12 and that is the rubric that is used and it's used with grade 10 students grade 11 and grade 12 students okay so you may want to take a look at that as well but it pretty much covers all the points in the checklist so if you use the checklist take a look over the rubric you should be just fine all right also there's some documents about how to cite your sources and integrating quotations follow that as well there and if you have any questions, email me, or if you need me to call you, that's totally fine too. Just make sure that you email me and say, can you call me? Here's my number and when to call you. Okay. Um, when your essay is done, it should be in a Word document or I guess Google Docs would be fine too, but then you have to share it with me. And sometimes that's, I don't know if that, that works to put in Moodle. Make sure you name it, put your last name and um, English 10 dash 6 essay because it's lesson 6 and um, make sure that your outline is at the beginning of your essay as well when you hand it in so I can see that you followed what you set out to do okay so happy essay writing for the rest of today